Forget about science fiction. A chip in your brain is no longer fantasy, but a reality that will change humanity forever. In this video, we dive into the world of Neuralink, a chip that will hack your brain and take your consciousness to ultra mode. From people controlling computers with the power of thought to revolutionizing paralysis treatment. Spoiler, the future isn't in the metaverse, it's right under your skull. So what exactly is this Neuralink? Neuralink is a small disk, similar to a coin, that's implanted into your head. It contains thousands of tiny threads, thinner than hair, which are inserted directly into your brain. These threads listen to what your brain cells are talking about and transmit these signals to a computer. Old brain implants are like old cell phones with three buttons. Neuralink is like the latest iPhone. Instead of a few thick wires that the brain rejects, Neuralink uses many ultra-thin threads that the brain accepts as its own. And the coolest part? Everything works wirelessly. No cables coming out of your head. You think about movement, and the cursor on the screen moves. You think about text, and it gets typed. But here's the question. When the chip understands your thoughts, who's really controlling whom? Imagine watching a monkey play a video game without hands. Not with keys. Not with a joystick. Just by thinking. Sounds impossible? It's already reality. Neuralink's first major breakthrough. A monkey named Pager, who played Pong with the power of thought. The chip implanted in its brain read its neural signals and converted them into paddle movements on screen. Impressive. Pager learned this in just a few minutes. Before that, there were experiments with pigs. At the 2020 presentation, a pig named Gertrude demonstrated how the implant reads neural signals when she simply sniffs the ground. Most importantly, the animals lived with these chips for months without any problems. But the real turning point came in January 2024. The first human volunteer was Noland Arbaugh, a 29-year-old man paralyzed after an accident. A week after surgery, he was already controlling a cursor on the screen, and within a month, playing chess and typing messages just by thinking about movements. And although critics warn against premature optimism, one thing becomes obvious. We are witnessing the birth of a technology that could restore full lives to thousands of paralyzed people. The only question is, where will this technology go next? Now for the incredible. Imagine, a doctor tells you you'll never walk again. And a year later, you're taking your first steps, thanks to a tiny chip in your head. Neuralink promises to transform medicine. For the paralyzed, it's a digital bridge that bypasses damaged spinal cord. You think about movement, and your muscles or robotic prosthesis execute the command. For the blind, it's eyes without eyes. The chip transmits visual signals from a camera directly to the brain, creating vision where there was none. For the deaf, it's ears without ears. Sound waves are converted into neural signals, bypassing damaged hearing structures. Most impressive, the technology can predict epileptic seizures minutes before they begin, turn off tremors in Parkinson's disease, and even regulate chemical balance in depression. Imagine a world where dementia no longer steals memories, where multiple sclerosis stops progressing and autism receives new therapy methods. We stand on the threshold of a revolution where brain diseases, once considered incurable, may become mere unpleasant memories. The only question is, how quickly? Now, forget about treating diseases. Neuralink's real goal is to turn you into a superhuman. Imagine being at a Google interview and suddenly knowing answers to all questions. No search, no hints. Information just appears in your head, as if it was always there. At a meeting with Japanese investors, the neuro implant translates their language in real time. Japanese sounds like native to you. And what about telepathy? You think of a message, your colleague with an implant instantly receives it at a board meeting. No messengers pure thought jumping from brain to brain. Remember The Matrix? I know Kung Fu. I know Kung Fu. Musk is already talking about uploading skills directly to the brain, learning code, foreign languages, or piloting in seconds. 
controlling technology with thought is just the beginning. Tesla without a steering wheel, Amazon's smart home, Boston Dynamics drones and robots all obey your thoughts. And most importantly, symbiosis with AI. Neuralink, according to Musk, is our insurance against a Terminator-style machine uprising. Can't beat artificial intelligence? Join it. Sounds fantastic? So did the iPhone in 2007. Yes, it did. But are we ready to open the doors to our thoughts? Think about it. Your brain is the last bastion of privacy. Neuralink could break it forever. Imagine cyber criminals hacking not your bank account, but literally your mind. They could steal your memories, manipulate emotions, or worst of all, force you to act against your will. A hacked brain isn't just a lost password, it's a lost identity. What if your chip starts showing ads directly in your head, or collecting data about your most private thoughts for corporations? Governments could use such technology for unprecedented surveillance. The thought police from 1984 would become reality. Who will have access to this technology? The gap between rich and poor could become a gap between humans and superhumans, an elite class of brain cyborgs ruling the world, and ordinary people becoming evolutionary outsiders. And the most important question, will you remain yourself? Philosophers and religious leaders warn, directly connecting humans with machines could fundamentally change our essence. Perhaps the boundary between human and AI will disappear forever. Could Neuralink be the first step toward losing our humanity? What's next? Musk doesn't hide his schedule. By 2030, he plans to transition from medical implants to consumer market devices. This means wireless neural interfaces could become as common an accessory as smartphones are today. But Neuralink isn't the only player. Synchron has already beaten Musk with the first FDA-approved implants. Meta, Google, and military developers are also investing billions in neurotechnology. The pace of development is astounding, experts. What was considered science fiction for decades is becoming reality in years. If progress continues at this rate, by the 2040s, we may see the beginning of a new species, Homo neuralis. Neurobiologists compare this moment to the invention of writing or the internet, but more significant, for the first time, we're not just creating a tool, we're changing the very platform on which the human mind operates. So Neuralink is not just technology, it's reprogramming humanity itself, from treating paralysis to telepathy, from mind reading to merging with artificial intelligence. The benefits are breathtaking, curing the incurable, expanding brain capabilities a thousandfold, protecting humanity from AI domination. The risks are terrifying. Hackers in your head, inequality between humans and superhumans, lots of what makes us, us. But do we have a choice? When the technology becomes mainstream, who will stay aside? Those who refuse risk becoming digital cave dwellers in a world of super-intelligent cyborgs. And now a question that makes you wake up at night. When the day comes and your child asks you to implant Neuralink because everyone in class already has one, what will you tell them? Share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to stay updated on more mind-blowing tech that's reshaping our world. Hit that notification bell so you never miss our next video.